Hi and a very good evening to all of you. How are you all? I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another special session whereby today we are going to talk about the framework on green bonds. So recently, the finance minister or the union of finance has given approval to the framework for having a sustainable green bond for India. So what is this sustainable green bonds? its features and how and all of a sudden this green bonds came into picture for India. All of these will be studied in today's video. But before that, if you have still not downloaded the app, you can do so by going on to the Google Play Store. Any kind of exam related updates, live video sessions, topper strategies as well as past year papers and their analysis are available on this app. So make use of this app to better prepare for your exam. So let's get started. As I have mentioned, we are going to talk about India's first sovereign green bonds framework. Okay? Now, as you all know that environment and climate change is such a thing that is of prime concern for any country in the entire globe, right? And you all know that India, a country, has its own constitution and in its constitution under article 48a that is the list of directive principles Wahabibi it has been mentioned under article 48a that India should strive in order to protect the environment so it is the duty of India to in order to adapt any kind of climate change in order to reduce the emissions and in order to have more of carbon sinking and other such projects so that the environment could be saved. And that's the reason why India for a very long period of time has been coming up with several projects. Projects such as Namami Gange. In ke baare mein aapne suna hoga. We also have projects for minimizing waste, man minimizing waste. And therefore, we have waste management projects. Apart from that, we also have projects in order to clean our air, the clean air program. Such projects are initiated and launched in India by the government. And one more addition or one more milestone now would be utilizing finances from people all around all around or the public all around and use those finances or those funds in order to finance the green projects green projects or renewable projects or sustainable projects projects such as those projects where the energy is efficiently used the renewable kind of energy is being used or that projects that reduces waste or any kind of emission that is harmful for the environment or reduces the greenhouse effects so all of these kinds of projects are to be financed by making use or tapping the money of the public for the betterment of the environment or the society it's like bahut sare projects laye gaye hain and that's the reason why today we are going to talk about sovereign gold sovereign green bond scheme bond as you all know it's a debenture kind of thing aapko ek Certificate milega whereby you earn interest and then the principal repayment is made to you after the end of the tenure of the bond. So as you all know, we all have sovereign gold bond jahan pe public paisa invest karti hai. Similarly, the government will now introduce sovereign green bonds. Why has the green word associated with it? Because any money collected or raised by the government will be used only for green projects. Theek hai? Projects such as encompassing anything of hydro, solar, wind, or biomasses, geothermal. So, in sub projects may utilize kiye jayenge. Apart from that, this money or this funds that are being accumulated, accumulated by using the sovereign green bond will be used in order to reduce emission and all kind of harmful effects on the environment. I hope green bond ka aapko samaj a gaya. So all those people, all those public who are very much concerned for the society, for the environment will be investing their money in such kinds of bonds so that they not only earn interest, which is the financial part, you are also serving the society. Aapne ESG ka concept suna hai, right? 
people and investors across the world are wanting or are showing interest or attracted to invest their money in projects or schemes that are ESG based, environment, social and governance. So this green bond is a kind of ESG based framework where investors who are willing to do something for the environment, investors who want that less of emission or less of harm is done to the environment, in those projects, investors will put in their money. So one thing one should be very clear is that here the rate of interest might be low than the other commercial projects but the better thing is that you are saving or protecting the environment from the harmful effects ab hum baat kare ki green bonds framework ki shuruaat kahan se hui so it was in the cop 20 cop 26 the call jo cop 26 tha conference of parties 26 that was held in the year 2021 there the government there the prime minister of india mr narendra modi talked about five panch amrit panch amrit that is the five nectars usko bola jata hai panch amrit and there it talked about having sustainability for the country and making contribution to the climate to the climate and reducing any kind of emissions in the country the panchamrit ki baat ki gayi thi right apart from that in the year in the financial budget of 2022 23 it was the union minister that in the budget talked about having the sovereign green bonds so that such funds could be utilized or mobilized for green projects green projects mein aap laga sako green bonds as i have told as i have told you earlier bonds hai iska matlab you will be getting interest on that thing plus your principal will be repaid so these are financial instruments like any other bond or any other debenture and that generates proceeds for investment in environmentally sustainable and climate suitable projects so all those projects which are in sync with saving the environment in protecting the environment or which promotes the goals of the sustainable development goals all will be covered under the green bonds simple and recently the union minister for finance and corporate affairs has approved the first and the final for sovereign green bond framework for india so what is this framework all about so if you talk about the framework as i have mentioned is it was first mentioned in cop 26 at glasgow in november 2021 panch amrit ki baat ki gayi thi so these are the panch amrit the five nectars now if you will ask me whether this is important from exam point of view this five points are not important as such numbers vagaira but this can be asked in your phase 1 फेज वन जनरल अवेयरनेस में पूछा जा सकता है दर द अमाउंट एंड एवरी थिंग फेज वन जनरल अवेयरनेस बट फ्रॉम फाइनेंस परस्पेक्टिव यू जस्ट नीड टू नो दिस्ट्री की पंच अमृत आया फिर बजट में इंट्रोड्यूस किया गया था एंड फाइनली इन नवंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू इट हैज बिन फाइनली इशूड और द फ्रेमवर्क हैज बिन गिवेन राइट and this framework wants to strengthen india's commitment towards nationally determined contribution targets to so, jab paris mein agreement hua tha united nations framework for climate change wahan pe it was decided that countries across the world will have nationally determined contribution contribution in reducing uh in reducing and making more efficient use of the non fossil energy reducing fossil energy making more use of the non fossil energy and reducing the capacity by 2030 reducing or making use of its energy from the renewable energy reduction of the carbon intensity having more of carbon sinking pool so that the carbon emissions could be reduced in the economy to so, in sare panch amrit jo हमारे प्राइम मिनिस्टर ने मेंशन किया था द नेशनली डिटर्मिंड कंट्रीब्यूशन आल्सो टॉक्ड अबाउट दैट वेयर बाय इंडिया इज ट्राइंग टू रिड्यूस 
all kinds of harmful effect that is being done to the environment. Apart from that, in this 2021 COP meeting, the, gov the government, that is the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, also talked about life. What is life? Lifestyle for environment. Environment ke liye kuch karna hai, usko bachana hai. Agar hum aise hi isko use karte reh jayenge, everything is going to be degraded. All of you know all of these. But yes, these numbers are important from general awareness part of uh, point of view. So ye aap dhyan mein rakh lena. Now, whatever money that is being raised, the issue will be done by RBI. So ye cheez aapko dhyan rakhna hai ki government ke behalf pe RBI issue karegi. So the timing of the issue will be done by RBI, kitna issue karna hai, RBI karegi and that money or issuance of such funds will be given to the government and that money will be kept in the consolidated fund of India. So we have several funds, ye aapke polity mein aayenge, we are not going very deep into it but such funds will be utilized or will be used to keep, to keep all the money that are being raised through this green bonds. Simple and as said by the finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman, this money, the issuance of the sovereign gold bonds will help the government in tapping finances from the public that has the potential of using that money for public sector projects that are aimed at reducing the carbon intensity, that are aimed at promoting sustainable or sustainability into the environment. Now let's move forward and talk about the framework. What is the framework for sovereign green bond? First and foremost is which department is going to oversee. So it is the Department of Economic Affairs. Yeah, aapke objective question ban sakte hain. And these are important specifically from your general awareness point of view. Aapke finance point of view se important ho jayenge green bonds. Ke green bonds hote kya hai? So these are financial instruments similar to uh, bonds and debentures, but the money, whatever is raised through such bonds will be used for environment sustainable projects. Projects that results in reducing any kind of emission into the country or into the environment, right? So it is the Department of Economic Affairs under the Ministry of Finance that reserves the right to modify this framework. So if time, if time wants or if the international standards that are set for the climate change wants that certain uh, amendments need to be done in this framework, then that can be done only by the Department of Economic Affairs under the Ministry of Finance. Now, this framework is also based in order to comply with the four components or the recommendations that was given by ICMA, International Capital Market Association, that brought green bond principles. So green bond principles issued with 2021 and this green bond principles had recommended recommended four things. First was use of proceeds. So whatever proceeds come from your green bond, se, such proceeds should be used in order to finance green projects. So jitne bhi green projects honge, aap usko finance karoge. Second is evaluation, project evaluation and selection. So this project evaluation and selection will be done by a committee that will that will be set up by the finance ministry. The committee that will help or that will overlook at the evaluation and the selection of the entities that wants to undertake any kind of green projects. Third is management of proceeds. So the money or the funds that comes will be settled or will be accumulated in the consolidated fund of India. Now, who is going to manage the money in this account needs to be taken care. And fourth is finally reporting. So, the entire framework is based on this. Now, we will be talking about this in the coming slides. And as I have mentioned, the use of funds will be for only eligible green projects to finance or refinance any kind of expenditures that relates to green projects. Ab ye dekho, as you can understand that the government also raises money in the form of bonds, T-bills issue karte hain. And this money are nothing but borrowings by the government. It is a kind of borrowing that the government is doing against certain collateral or certain securities. Aapko certificates de di jati hai. The government pays interest 
and the principal repayment is done after the end or the expiry of the tenure but it is a kind of borrowing that is done by the government so that the government can make use of the public money in order to finance or provide as grants to the state so that they can finance any kind of green projects sustainable projects simple now let's move forward and see what all are included into this framework as a green project so ye definition diya gaya hai green projects ka green projects kya hoti hai first that encourages the efficient use of renewable energy aapke jo bhi resources hote hain it says that you need to make an efficient use of that efficient ka kya matlab hota hai minimum wastage maximum output with minimum wastage is the definition of efficiency to efficiency honi chahiye secondly it should reduce any kind of carbon emission or greenhouse gases gases that are impacting the environment third it should promote climate resilience or adaptation to the ongoing climate changes and fourth it talks about improving the natural ecosystem and biodiversity specifically in accordance with the sustainable development goals now this sdg goals are very important again general awareness point of view se jitne bhi goals hain you should know the name of each goals moving forward what all are included in green projects so this is the list of the items that are included into the list of green projects that is included under the sovereign green bonds to ye aap dekh sakte ho renewable energy energy efficiency making efficient use of the resources that are available clean transportation climate change adaptation sustainable water and waste management pollution prevention control green buildings buildings that have solar panels that reduces the emission that create certain kind of carbon sinking pool then we have sustainable management of living natural resources and land use terrestrial and aquatic biodiversity conservation so all of these are included so this is the positive list that includes all of these as green projects what all are not included so apart from many lists some of the items that are not included are all fossil fuel related projects any kind of fossil fuel related projects are not included apart from that nuclear power generation alcohol weapons to tobacco gaming palm oil industries all of these are excluded from the list of the green projects moving forward next is the framework now ye jo uh, framework release kiya gaya hai or that has been finalized by the finance ministry has also gone for a second opinion and this opinion has been provided by a norway a very renowned international independent association known as norway based second party opinion provider cicero c i c e r o this is the full form of the agency that is center for international climate research so it is one of the renowned agency that provides second opinion to ek opinion aapke paas already hai they also provide you with a second opinion just the if you have got certain feedback from one teacher you also go to the second teacher in order to understand ki kya aur aapko wahan se input mil sakti hai similarly this framework has gone for a second opinion and this independent agency has said that uh the framework that india has developed it has been rated as medium green medium green ka kya matlab hota hai that the project the framework that india has designed represents or shows significant steps towards the long term vision of achieving uh, sustainable projects or sustainability into the economy but they are not quite there yet that is more is to be done in order to reach there तो so, दिखा रही है कि दैट यू आर यू आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द राइट डायरेक्शन बट यू आर नॉट एक्चुअली एट द डेस्टिनेशन अब अभी डेस्टिनेशन पे पहुंचे नहीं हो अब आप यहां पे हो सो इफ यू टेक स्टेप्स देन यू कैन रीच टू द डेस्टिनेशन सिंपल अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दे हैव आल्सो गिवन अ स्कोर ऑफ गुड फॉर द गवर्नेंस द गवर्नेंस स्कोर हमें गुड मिली है इट कैन बी फेयर गुड एंड एक्सेलेंट सो दिस इज द एजेंसी दिस इज द रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ द a framework for sovereign green bonds moving forward the committee 
So a committee was set up and the finance ministry has set up this committee by the name Green Finance Working Committee. Right, and this committee will validate any kind of decision that is to be taken for the sovereign green bonds. Now, who is going to chair this committee? So, every committee is to be chaired by some person. So, this committee will be chaired by the chief economic advisor. And currently, the chief economic advisor is Dr. V. Ananta Nagesh Varan. Right, so this is your general awareness ka part. Ban Next. It says that the committee needs to meet at least twice a year. So, two years, at least two times they will meet. And so that they can support the ministry in the evaluation or the selection of the projects. So, we have the government. The government of India asking RBI to issue sovereign green bonds. Now, these bonds are issued to the public. Public ko issue ho gai hai, right? Public ko issue kar gaya, kar diya gaya. Now this public provides you with the money. Now this money, this money will be utilized or will be sent and this ministry, the, the applicable, the relevant ministry will receive proposals. Proposals milenge inko from various industries, industries or any kind of MSMEs or other industries that want to undertake such green projects will come up with their proposals. So proposals leke aayenge. Now this committee that is the Green Finance Working Committee will help the finance ministry in order to select, in order to select and evaluate all of the projects that have come for the green projects. So yahan pe inko help karna padega and for that they need to meet at least twice a year. And apart from that, suppose this project is being selected. Now, since this project is selected, now allocation of funds are to be done and that fund is also needs to be managed. So the allocation of the funds, is managed or allocate If suppose they say that this project has got the, the, the proposal of this project has been selected and they are going to undertake certain XYZ green project. Now we have said that the other money that the government has collected through this route re has reached or has been actually given to this project or not this needs to be reviewed by this committee, the Green Finance Working Committee. And for that they are, need, they are required to review in a time bound manner so that there is no misusage of the finance. And also wants to ensure that the allocation of the proceeds is completed within 24 months from the date of issuance. If this project select selected, money needs to be issued to these projects, to these companies so that they can start with the project. So such thing can be done only if the Green Finance Working Committee provides a review within 24 months from the date of issuance. Or uh, 24 months ke baad, agar issue nahi hua, then uh, actions will be taken accordingly. Moving forward, so this is the entire framework. Just kaise project select honge. So we have the ministry. The ministry will be identifying projects and submitting it to the committee, the Green Finance Working Committee for internal evaluation. Now, who, which all ministries will be participating? So there can be any ministry that is concerned with the green projects, ministries such as your Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, then you have Ministry Housing and Urban Affairs, then you have Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, then you have Ministry of New and Renewable Energy or any other energy. Now, these are all full forms you will get on the net, not so important from finance perspective, but yes, important from general awareness. Or you have covered it too. So these ministries will be identifying the projects. Suppose they have a lot of projects, they have identified it. So initial list has been made. That list will be given to this committee. And this committee will help in the selection and evaluation. So it will evaluate. Every project will be evaluated internally by the Green Finance Working Committee. We have already talked about this. The Chief Economic Advisor will be chairing or will be the chairperson of this committee. And this you can read on whereby it says there will be additional secretary and Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change will be included. Then we have your new and renewable energy. 
people or specialists or experts from niti ayog will also be there and the public debt management cell the budget division will also be there now a final list will be prepared yaha suppose 100 the 100 ki evaluation ye committee karegi out of that it has selected around 20 now this 20 selected entities that are eligible for the green projects the money needs to be dispersed to this 20 and that will be done by the public debt management cell so this will issue bonds manage and allocate proceeds to green eligible green projects so this is the entire framework just as to how the framework is to is going to work for the sovereign green bonds i hope this is clear to you so this was all that i wanted to discuss very small bas aapko ye dhyan rakhna hai ki framework aaya hai for sovereign green bonds and these green bonds are nothing but such financial instruments that is going to tap on or that is going to collect money from the public in order to finance green projects bonds ke case mein kya hota hai any no normal bonds paise liye you can invest in any project any private project that you are doing but just specifically green projects or esg se isko aap relate kar sakte ho committee is important who is going to chair the committee that is important green bonds ka matlab kya hota hai what are this eligible green projects उसके लिस्ट मैंने आपको दी थी दैट यू नीड टू लुक एंड द हिस्ट्री हाउ इट स्टार्टेड व्हाट इज लाइफ अगेन लाइफ वॉज टॉक्ड अबाउट बाय आर प्राइम मिनिस्टर लाइफ के बारे में आपको पता होना चाहिए एंड द रिकमेंडेशन गिवन सो ऑल ऑफ दिस हैज बीन कवर्ड नीड नॉट गो मच बियॉन्ड दैट दिस इज ऑल दैट यू कैन स्टडी फ्रॉम योर एग्जाम परस्पेक्टिव दिस वॉज ऑल फॉर टूडे आई होप यू एंजॉय द सेशन इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट यू कैन ऑलवेज राइट इट डाउन Uh, in the comment section or you can always uh, even write it down on the discussion forum or over the call and take care till then and bye bye